This will blow your mind. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most minted miniature motorcade of Micro Machines. This one has dramatic details, terrific swims, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machines. So let's move. You get the point. If you were to run something like this on human, it's possible that the human would make a mistake. But look at this. This audio was fed into the machine, and this is what the machine threw out. Crazy, right? We're going to be looking at today, and we're going to try it ourselves. And I'll show you. It's very, very simple to try it on Google Drive. It does not require you to do any code. Before I jump into the video, if you're interested in generative AI, check this course out on Udemy. It's about the world of generative AI. Every concept that you need to know. AI text generation, image generation, avatar generation, AI audio generation, and finally video generation. So you learn to automate every single bit of content with AI. After checking out this course, it's on discount right now, so you may still be able to get your hands on it. Jump into the video now. Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at Whisper, which is OpenAI's speech to text model, speech to transcript model. Uh, there is a lot of noise going around how. Text to audio is blowing up, right? So you might have seen Google's LM model, music LM model recently. Uh, I have a video for that, and it's it's mind blowing. But if you look at this, what are you gonna what I'm gonna show you here is gonna even uh, shock you further to the extent that AI has gone today, uh, and the kind of things it can automate or the kind of things it can do for you today, right? So this is the paper. Um, that says it's an open sourcing and neural network model that approaches human level robustness and accuracy on English speech recognition. You can read the paper if you want. You can see the code or you can view the model card. But this will blow your mind. Look at this. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most minted miniature motorcade of Micro Machines. This one has dramatic details, terrific swims, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket plates that fills a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any place. And there are many miniature places to play with. And each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun, fantastic features that miraculously move. You get the point, right? So if you were to run something like this on human, it's possible that the human would make a mistake. But look at this. This audio was fed into the machine and this is what the machine threw out. And don't worry, we're going to be trying this ourselves and I'll show you how to try it. It does not take you long, but look at this. So this generated a script by feeding an audio like this, where it's very likely that a human would make a mistake. Let's try something else. K-pop. Now, as a human, I struggle to understand what's going on, right? But let's reveal the script. While darkness was my thing, I so much. Look at this. I cannot understand what the human is trying to say, but the machine can. Right. So let's try French. Whisper est un système de reconnaissance automatique de la parole entraîné sur 680 000 heures de données multilingues et multitâches récoltées sur Internet. Nous établissons que l'utilisation de données d'un... Ok, let's monde... check how it is. Let's check. So not only did it understand the text was French, it converted that to English. Let's try for the final one. One of the most famous landmarks on the border is Three Hills. And the myth is that Merlin, the magician, split one hill into three and it left the two hills at the back of us, which you can see. The weather's never good, though. Always... I can faintly understand that this is a British accent and there is a lot of background noise. So let's see the transcript. See how it works. You will broadly only have to do two steps, not more than two steps, right? Uh, after we do the setup. So you go to Google Drive. Oh, by the way, this is... Um, the, these are the avatars that I had created using my stable diffusion model. So that in mind, uh, let's jump right into this, right? So the first thing you need to do is click on new and then you need to go to more. Choose Google Collaboratory. Uh, so if you don't have this, click on connect more apps. And here you search for collab. I think that's all. Yeah, just search for collaboratory and you need to install this, right? So you go in here and you click on install if you don't have it in your system. Once you've done that, click on new, uh, click on more and create a Google Collab file. Pretty straightforward, right? So it'll take some time to open the file itself. Okay, so once you're in the file, just name the file, don't change the extension just name the file
Okay, I'm going to name it speech to text and click on runtime, change the runtime type and choose GPU. So the reason why we want to choose GPU here is because converting something, so some converting an audio into text requires you some graphic processing power. And for that, you'll need these units, these GPU units. Google allows you by default some free GPU units that you can use. So we'll go ahead and use the GPU that is given by Google. It should be enough for us to play around and experiment how things work. Okay, so once you do the setup, it's this here as your first line of code and run this. So this is basically going to the GitHub re uh, repository of uh, where the model is placed on GitHub and installing that model in your co collab file. And then secondly, it's also installing F FMPEG, which is the model that you require in order to uh, run videos and audio file in the collaboratory setting, right? So it won't take long. It took me around 20 seconds the first time I tried it. So should be around that time. So you can see the uh, cell running here and you can see the setup is completed. Click here and so click here. This is where you, you can see all your files in the collab document, right? And this is where we need to uh, upload our audio file. So whatever audio file you need to transcribe, just add it here. Uh, reminder uploaded files. Upgraded. Okay, just click on okay. You can see my file is uploaded. Now, as the second step, we need to tell the collab model in order to, you know, the collab model to transcribe this for us. So you click on code, it will generate another line for you. And in the next line, just paste uh, this line. And I'll explain what this means, right? So this is whisper, meaning we are calling the model. And then we are telling it which audio file to run. And then we are also telling which model to use. So there are, we are going to be using medium because this is the most optimal, but there are five different models to choose from. So there is tiny, which is the fastest and requires less GPU units, but the accuracy may not be so good. Then there is base, which is better than medium. The accuracy gets a bit better and the GPU computing gets a bit better. Then there is small, which is again, better than base. Then there is medium which is better than small, requires larger GPU units, and also is better and more accurate. And then there is finally large, which is the most accurate one, but requires higher GPU processing power. And what I think is medium should be enough for us to solve the problem that we are looking to. And now that we have this here, let's just click on this. So it shouldn't take long. What this is basically doing is now looking at the file it, it is running the file through the model. So you can see that it's 1.42 giga, gigabytes, I think, worth of processing that's happening. And these are the MBs that being processed, right? So it's also showing the amount of time it will take in order to transcribe this file itself. So let's just wait for a few seconds for it to transcribe this file. It, by the way, by, uh, you know, after this is done, it also kind of generates the script for you with timestamps, captions in your videos or use these somewhere, use the timestamp somewhere. It, it's really helpful. And I'll show you how that looks as well. I think it's almost done. I'll also run the audio once so that you understand what the audio is about. So this is from one of my videos. I'm just going to play it now for you to know what it is. Okay. Okay, so this is the audio that we have fed to the model. It's still running, but let's see the kind of result it generates. Okay, so MSCW in Moscow stands for four major actions a product manager can take while building a product or a feature. These four actions are M must have, S should have, C could have, and W must have, S should have, okay, and W should have. So I think there may be problem with the processing here, but it was able to transcribe the whole bit, right? So it's running it twice. I can see it's running it twice. These four actions are, could have. Okay, it's coming until here 
and then it's restarting the whole module itself because the video because the audio is cut let we'll try one more audio but the idea is that it's pretty accurate so in the start of the audio itself i said ms c and w right so it's interpreting that the m and s are together and it's kind of also bringing both of these together you know while processing the audio itself so what we'll do is we'll uh, try one more but before that you can see there are a bunch of files that are generated here right so the, this is the json file if you want you can download it this is an srt file script file if you want to feed it to the machine and these are then other set of files that you can also use in order to take the thing forward from here but the idea is that it was able to generate a transcript now let's try with one more audio to see the kind of results it throws out right so let me just find one audio and restart so i've gone ahead and recorded a very short hindi 10 second hindi audio that i want to process using this model itself i will play how the audio sounds like for you once here you go main ye test kar raha hu dekhne ke liye jo ye whisper ai hai open ai ka model hindi audio pe kaam karta hai so this is the audio that i recorded in hindi and primarily what it means is that i'm trying to see how whisper ai works on hindi audio so that's that's what it says right so i'm feeding the hindi underscore ai dot mp3 here in the model and let's see how it works so it won't run the uh, processing that it was running before every time it runs this i think there was a first time thing to install certain libraries but it's working fine now it's taking a bit in order to process it okay so it was able to okay i will now test the model of the whisper i think it made a spelling mistake here the open ai model and i think it's pretty accurate in that sense right so this is what i told in the audio itself while again it's not completely perfect primarily because it does not understand what you are referring to but you can see that it's it's done a pretty decent job uh, to generate the whole uh, script itself and yeah i think that's pretty much it what was most shocking sh shocking for me was this speed talking itself either ways if you are interested in how generative ai works and do you know do real cool things with generative ai feel free to check out my course in the uh, on udemy the link is in the description it's running on heavy discount uh, but otherwise that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching the video itself uh, i hope you were able to learn something if yes consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much guys